Emile Durkheim was a French socialist born on April 15, 1858, and he died November 15, 1917. He was born into a very religious family. He was raised Jewish and would later become a rabbi just like his father. Unfortunately, his father passed away before Emil was 20, and that left a huge burden and weight of responsibilities onto him to take care of his family. Um, he, this had, uh, despite this tragedy, this had a positive aspect because it left Emil to become a very disciplined and responsible young man. He was known for um, a, a new methodol methodology that he called social facts. This implements um, this, el this is elements of life that um, exist independently of and are able to exert on influence on the individual. He is also known of, as the author of on the division of social labor, the rules of social methods, suicide, and the elementary forms of religious life. Emil Durkheim also developed a social behavior called deviance. He defined it as violations of social rule and conventions. Um, he also declared deviance as an inevitable part of an inevitable part of how society functions. He also argued that deviance is a basis for change and innovation, and it is also a way of defining or clarifying important social norms. Why I think Emil is interesting um, is because he dis he studied the behavior of people that chose to break the law. Um, I think this is interesting because usually people ignore it and just presume they're a bad person, but jerk him uh, devoted his life to studying deviance and its theories and social methods and made it um, almost a subject rather than just a bad decision that somebody makes. I think that Emil Durkheim would find um, interesting today is the um, statistics on suicides. He was very interested in suicide and the theory behind the reasons someone would be willing to end their own life. If you saw the statistics today, especially the PTSD veteran rate, I think that he would be astonished. Um, and yeah.